Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 3. We're back into the cave. I went back into town and I bought a couple uh, eye drops. Uh, 20 of them. I brought 20 eye drops. I figured that would be just a solid, good amount to get through everything. Um, I also adjusted some equipment a little bit. I took the dagger off of Jared's left hand and gave him the shield because the the, the white slayer, wear slayer, whatever it's called, I think it's white slayer. It's gonna deal way more, way more damage to everything than just over a knife, and I'd rather get a little bit extra protection over how much everything hurts. And with that, Joof, I am gonna throw you in the back row. I'm sorry, you're not gonna be able to stab for now, but instead I'm gonna give you a bow with holy arrows, because I feel like that's gonna be way more useful against undead monsters than, say, stabbing it. Plus, that way you don't have to constantly exhaust his ice spells. All right, let's see how this goes against all these mummies. If I just straight up try to let's straight up fight. If I just straight up fight, see what happens. Yeah, yeah, Miss Joof. Now is this like Final Fantasy 2 and those in the back row uh, always avoid melee hits, or is it have it like later Final Fantasy games? Yeah, so Joof did a like 40 some damage with this bow shot to that mummy. I am poisoned. I should have bought myself a pure arrows in town. I forgot. Uh. Same thing. I'll cure the poison after battle, just in case they try to poison us again. Oh god! Or oh, I can just take a bunch of damage. Dude, that the holy arrow just looks like a magic missile. It's like green and glowy at the tip. Looks like a magic missile. New head cannon. Joof isn't using a bow. He's in the back casting magic missiles. That's way cooler. All right, now we're gonna cure Jerd. Oh, now Peeb's poisoned. Magic missile! Oh yeah, Juf's crushing it. Ha! Yeah, we did it! It should get people leveled up! Right? 40 experience points? Yeah, Peeb, level up! How much better is Peeb now? 96 hit points. Yes, not quite cracking 100. Range like Jurid is. His vitality is 8. And my vitality is 7. Okay, so I guess because I had the higher vitality as a monk for a couple of levels, it just got me ahead of Peep. Interesting. It won't stay that way, so I won't get too crazy over it. Let's use my antidotes since I have them. Oops. I wish there was a sort button, because that is a visual mess. I gave myself the cure spell, so I'll try to use myself for the uh, out of battle curing leave the in-battle curing for Ian. That way you can also use it as an attack spell. Alright, so we can fight mummies now that we got, uh, you know, magic missiles and stuff. So, one of the things I want to talk about with this particular game is how, uh, I should really throw Ian in the back row, is how in this, in this Final Fantasy game, pretty much every single class can dual wield. And that's really lame to me. It's one of those things where if everyone is special, no one is. Like, every class can dual wield. Joof, as a black mage, can be dual wielding knives or dual wielding stabs or whatever weaponry. And that's just a little, that's just, this is kind of ridiculous to me. Like, certain classes should have the dual wielding while others don't. That way, the different jobs have some are a little more special. Like the black belt being able to dual wield nunchucks makes sense to me because he's trading uh, offensive power for defensive power. Now PM as a fighter can dual wield, but then he loses the defensive power. So I don't know. So like why what's so great great about a monk being able to dual wield all the time when uh, the fighter can do it too? That just kind of, that just kind of irks me. I feel like they could have made, uh, just for extra flavor, making some of the jobs a little bit more unique and more exciting, kept it so that only some of them had the dual wield capability. But instead, in this game, everybody does. Uh, blast them with a cure spell again. Magic missile, forty-three. P misses. Difficult to attack the shadow. Oh no! Don't blind her. I need his deeps. His wear slayer deeps. White slayer. I keep 
I'm mixing those up. I'm sorry. Eh. Oh, he still hit! Got him. Uh, can I use an eye drop on him in battle? Eye drop? Huh. Ow. 10 damage to jerk. Uh, you, you can blind Ian, that's fine. He has a, he has a need to s He was like about to put eye drops in jerk, but now he's blind, so he's like dropping it on my forehead. He's just like, I'm sorry, I'm trying to help. Okay. And I think I might just do a little bit of that. Jerk's on to 30 hit points as well, so we're gonna throw a cure on him. Chop. Ooh, okay. So you can get hit in the back row, but it does decrease the damage. I like that more than Final Fantasy II's version. Wait. Did Ian's cure just miss? Is that a thing? Can you miss with your spells? Uh-oh. Blind is terrible. Huh. I'm glad I got extra eye drops then. Cause damn. Pete, you've got a job level up. I forgot to look up what that means. I'm sure someone in the comments has already told me, but the thing is, I am recording this way ahead of time and all that helpful hints in the comments won't matter. By the time you post it, I'm gonna be way past whatever it is you're talking about and it doesn't matter anymore. But I appreciate your uh, enthusiasm and wanting to help. Treasure. $500. Then you press this skeleton to open up the wall. Mm-hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Princess Sarah! I'm Sarah, the daughter of King Sassoon. Princess Sarah. Oh. Uh, well, let's have Peep say this. Princess Sarah! Why did you come to such a place? Since I was wearing the Mithril Ring, I wasn't part of her Jin's curse. I came here to help everyone, but I can't make it any further because of the monsters. This place is dangerous, Princess Sarah. Please wait at the castle. No! I'll keep going alone if I have to. Wait, no. Take me with you. You can't seal Jin without this, this mithril ring. Ian. Oh, seems we have no choice. Sarah joined the party. Yay! So now I got a little follower. Oh yes, to talk to me, press B. Don't forget. I'm Sarah. Who might be you be? I'm Peep! Nice to meet you. I came here alone and got stuck, so I'm so lucky you came. Thanks a ton. I have to shield Jin. Oh, you say, can see like multiple things. Okay. Alright. In the uh, 3DS remake, uh, the characters that join you as like a kind of tag along will actually help you in battle sometimes. Not the case in this version. Which is useful, but... We're skeletons and mummies. Kill them. Here the magic missile. And then cure skeleton, which I think will kill it? Ha! 45 damage from the White Slayer. Ooh, still strong hit on Ian even in the back row. Two hits to Peeb. Two more hits to Peeb. Just bleeding on him. Cure! I like how he shoots it out. Like, he just powers up and this cure! Kyo Skeleton! I'll, I'll save on some spells and just chop these guys down normally. As long as they don't poison any of us. Any of us. Yes! Want me defeated. Ha! Damn it! Wish my accuracy didn't suck so bad. Come here. Yeah. Magic missile! He's got so much ammo. So if I if I run out, that it'll, it'll be bad. Two capacity, 40 experience points. Is it ooh, treasure? Oh, there's the gin. Oh, an eye drop. Which I want to go back this way because I missed a treasure chest back here. Uh. <laughs> Cure all of them. 
Yeah. Oh, Peeb with a crit. Good job, Peeb. Can it in that back row, baby? Magic blast. Pew, 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 pew. Damage is... Well, we killed one. Juve dodges. Magic whistle. Kill another? Nice. I'm really glad I gave him that bow. It's it's helping a lot. Alright. But if I do it like that, I should be able to handle these last two enemies. Don't poison! Oh, it missed! Yes! Oh no, not if Jerd misses! Wait, Ian, will your stick destroy the skeleton? Do it! Stick attack! Nah. Oh. <laughs> I was getting excited for a sec second there. Just shatter his bones with a well placed stick. Now you'll notice he's got a stick and not a hammer. I hope we find a hammer for him. I'll be sad if we don't. Ian needs his hammer. He has nothing without it. I mean, he's still a white mage without it, but. Ian, job level up. Oh, Ian job leveled up before Juf. So you're job level four. Whereas Juf is only three. Hmm. Did, uh. Does job level affect your spell? Or is it level level? No, it's level level. Fine, I'll say it. Sarah is dressed way sluttier in this game than if she was in the last. Look, we're all thinking it, right? I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. Uh. Let's, uh. Let's still throw cures out. That's a lot of dudes. So many dudes! Magic Whistle! <laughs> or Holy Arrow, whatever. Boo! Not sure if it's better to have Juf use his magic missile or his ice pass after here. Ow. 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 Damn it. I'm glad I put on a shield. Let's uh, cure the skeleton, because that should kill it. Like, they really improved the graphics. Like, all the, the weapons have, like, more. Uh, there's, like, more visual uh, sprites for all the weapons. You can actually see, like, the magic being blasted out to their targets. Wow, that's cool. Like, compare that to Dragon Quest, which is where it's just, like, the first person view. This one is a much more visually appealing. Peep level up, Jerd level up, Juf level up, Ian level up! Look at that! Peep level up with us. Ooh, a south wind. Nice. We uh, got some curing we need to do though. Where is... Am I out of antidotes? I am out of antidotes. I didn't buy antidotes. Whoops. Uh, pure. And we'll use some potions. Cause I got 12 po- I have 12 potions. Oh, that was way more efficient than I thought it was going to be. I was expecting the 30 hit points, like in... It's fine. Alright, oh, see, Peep's starting to catch up to me in hit points now. Now that our vitalities are adjusted. He's got more than Juf and Ian. Also, Juf and Ian as mages are getting way more hit points than they ever would have compared to Final Fantasy 1. I'm going to make it, be making those comparisons a lot. I'm sorry, but it's just what I know. Um... I guess we'll fight. I, I debated not fighting because it's just a lot of dudes, but all right, here we go. Hope for the best. We're gonna get poisoned and hit a lot. That's a lot of dudes. Well, one mummy down. I miss, miss. Dude, Peep hits for 20 now. Higher than he was before. Man, I wish I had my reproduction cart. I got a really nice one on the way too. It has like a comes with like a custom made manual and everything. It's gonna be real nice. Ian's down to four cures, so I'm gonna try to hold on to those for the Jin battle. I feel like I should also save the game before I fight the Jin, or I could try to bloop in there. Hmm. You know what? That's actually a real good question. I gotta ask myself, how confident am I in fighting that djinn? Because right now we are struggling against mummies. Uh, cure. Q 
your party. Yeah. Hmm. So if I go back, if I go back and... Mm, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm running out of cures and stuff. Because my only... My only anti-poison stuff is Ian, and he's running low on spells. Well, we can kill these guys for sure. <laughs> oh boy. And during versus Jin, we'll have Juice Ice Blast, which will do a lot of damage. And we'll have uh, one Antarctic Wind. The rest is just slap them. Jack. Man, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the gin. We'll see what happens. If it, if it doesn't go well, I'll, uh, I'll I'll fast forward and get us caught up. But oh, juice out of arrows! Why are you all still freaking alive? I don't care. Blast it with ice. Oh gosh. Uh, oh no. Alright, hold on to your spell. Just use a potion on Juf. Ah! Kill it! Kill it! Die! Thank you! My god! Potion Juf! There you go, buddy. Pew. Eh. That was not worth the struggle. Well, Peep got a job level up. Also, a Jordan Juf! Got some job level ups. 15-15? The peep is a fighter has surprisingly high agility. Okay. Let's cure this poison nonsense. Oop, oh, oh, hold on. Almost screwed that up. Use pure juice. There we go. Items? Yeah, potions. Uh peep. That's it. All right, we're going for that gin, baby. Come on, Sarah. We're going for the gin. We're so close to venom. Actual venom. These guys use venom. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to re-equip Juve. Ron, I forgot to re-equip Juve. Without those holy arrows, we'll lose a lot of damage output. Oh! Crits Ian. Oh, crits peep! None of us could run! Oh! Oh, if they hit you while you try to run, you take extra damage. I understand. That's terrible. This is terrible. Can I equip arrows? Nope. Can't do that till four? Okay. Uh, potion jerd. Potion peeb. Can I use potions on them? Oh, yes! Okay! Get a heal off. Yay! I'm better! Ha! I'm not even at full, but I'm better! Kill one. Okay. Whew! Party saved! Ooh, that would've been bad. That was very close. Okay, good. I need a poison mist. Um... Let's... Hold on. Item. Uh, potion... Enemy? Da try it. See what happens. I mean, if that's the case, you just bought a crap ton of potions. Does it work? It does work! They have 130 hit points total. I think. Maybe it goes more. It's probably more. Alright. I, I could have just bought a, just a balls ton of potions and just tossed them out at people like oil flasks, only they're heal flasks of the cure. Well, now I feel like a fool. Nice punch and juve. It was not, it was not nice. You completely missed. He's like, I know not how to use my hands. I know how to use a knife. Let's kill a skeleton and move on. And then re-equip juice and magic missile arrows. For he is nothing without them. In the back row. I'm sorry, juve. You got 20 shots left. Make them count, baby. Yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this. 
Okay. It's Jin! I'll seal him with this ring. Oh, I didn't realize we we're gonna start right here. I was hoping for a little more time. <laughs> that thing won't work on me now. I've allied with the great power of darkness! Oh boy. Shin fight, here we go! Uh, so fight. Uh, I'm just gonna attack. Juve, blast him with ice, and Ian, hit him with that arctic wind. Or south wind. Here we go! Peep comes up immediately and, like, gets the Jin's attention. While an ice blast flies over his shoulder and blasts the Jin. Jin comes up and stabs him from the side. He throws out a fire to Ian! Ian, on fire, uses the south wind item to freeze him! Ooh, lots of damage. Juve starts prying up another ice blast. Uh, Ian... Uh, we're out of items used back there. Uh, throw a cure on the party. Jerd still swinging away with his cool sword. Peep trying to keep his attention. His magic sparkles onto the party, and their wounds close up. And Joof just ice blast, ice blast. Alright, well, apparently she's gonna keep Ian on fire. Who. Uh, is out of completely out of magic and we uh, only got four potions left none of this stuff over here matters uh, uh, hit him with your stick another cut from Jerd ice blast Pew! 52 Peep misses please don't put Ian on fire no he puts it on Peep actually does a decent amount of damage Thankfully, he's not wearing a whole lot of metal armor, otherwise that would be very uncomfortable for him. Oh, not fire under Jerd! That's fine. Just spread the flames about. Don't focus on one person, we'll be okay. Pew! Ice Blast! Juf once again bringing the, the deeps to the party. He is... Wow, he's taking a lot of hits! Like, it's an actual boss fight! And that's lasting more than a couple turns. Juf, remember when you one shot a vampire? Ah, oh, there it goes! Jared has slayed the djinn! Seven hundred dollars? Forty experience points. Peep, job level up. Ian, job level up. Now, Sarah! Sil Jin with the ring while he's weak! Sarah raised the ring. <laughs> What's he doing? Up, oh, he's gone. Thank you. Because of you, we were able to seal Jin again. Now if we put this ring in Sassoon's Holy Spring, we can release Jin's curse. Let's use the ring's power to work back to Sassoon Castle. Wait, you you can do that? Oh, alright. Yep, you just... Yeah, so you just like warp back and then your airship is stuck across the pond. Thanks for your help. I guess this is a goodbye. I mustn't leave my father's side. I'd like to go with you, but I'm sure I just get in the way. Sarah, please come back and visit when your journey is over. I'll be waiting. Princess Sarah, be sure to come back, I'll be waiting. And this is when, uh, Joof, Jerd, and Peeb all start arguing. No, no, she wants me. No, 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 she wants me. No, she wants me. While Ian is just like, pretty sure she wants none of us. Hello, King. I thank you sincerely for resealing Jin and rescuing Princess Sarah. Please take this, it may be of use to you. Received canoe! Good. I can go get my airship back. Now the peoples are returned back to normal. I'm gonna go sleep in your bed because it's comfortable and I'm hurt. Well, I guess this means I can stop being a uh, red mage. It was fun while it lasted. Ah, slept well. Can I... 14 to switch back to a monk? Yeah. Well, that was great and all, but, um... Gotta get back to my true self. I mean, not even quite my true self, but, you know. You know what I mean. Oh. Ooh. I'm actually getting really close to just being better off using my unarmed hands. Hold on. So I've got two nunchucks with a hit percentage of 73%. Whereas if I use my bare hands, 
It's uh, 28, 83%. I'll take the extra 10% chance to hit. I'm gonna start punching dudes. I'll still, uh, still wanna wear armor though. Eh. And leather. And that's it. Yep, that's it. Alright. So here, strength 15, agility 15, vitality 12. 15, 15, 12. 15, 15, 8. Weird. Alright, oh, but, oh yeah! Haha! <laughs> oh, look at all these people! Princess Sarah wanted to see you. Her room is at the top of the red tower. Ah, I told you. Again, they're fighting over. I told you she wanted to see me. Ah, she wanted to see me. Ah, guys, I'm pretty sure she wanted to see me. Ian is just unamused. Up in her room. Hi, Sarah. The truth is, I want to go with you, but I'm sure I'd just get in the way. But, oh. Princess Sarah talks about you every day. It's been minutes and she won't shut up. I don't know if you actually need to go back to her after you complete your journey or whatever that means. Whatever, let's move on. I can canoe and get back to the airship and then we can go back to uh, Sassoon? Or Kanan? I think, no, Kanan, because they won't be ghosts. Berserkers! My love for you is like a truck. How tough are you? I mean, you're outside, so you can't be too hard, right? Oh, okay. They have a scary name and a cool sprite, but they're not so bad. Ice Blast! You're dead. Oh, Juice, you probably don't even need to use your bow anymore. Even if you wanted to. I'd still rather you stay in the back row, but... Uh, ice! All of them! Yeah, get them. Ha! Kill it, Ian, kill it! Yeah! Ian slays a berserker with his mighty stick. Really wish he had his hammer. Oh, this guy's gonna get iced. <laughs> Victory! That guy's worth a lot. 40? Truf job level up. Canoe! That is the exact same sprite from Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> oh, so is the airship, but whatever. Yeah, so for whatever reason, this airship can't fly over mountains. Like, it can fly, but, you know, not high enough to go over stuff. Eh. Let's go here, save the game, Rooney. Alright. Everyone's back to normal. There's Sid. For the longest time, Sid's, like, default look was stout guy with large beard. I knew you could do it. I'm sure you can make better use of the airship than I could. Anyway, take me to the town of Ganon where Granny's waiting. Please, Sid, join the party. And now we've got Sid. Oh, more important, we got weapon and magic shops. Check it. What you got for me, baby? Ooh, mithril wand, mithril knife, mithril sword. Well, we need a mithril sword for Peeb. I forget Jufus knife back. Yes. And I guess Ian can have a wand. It's no hammer. Alright, so you're at attack power 14. Up to 21! I do like seeing their attack power go up right there. Joof. Let's get rid of this bow crap, right? You don't want any of that. You don't want any of that. You don't want any of that. You want your mithril knife. Yeah. Feels good. Uh, Ian. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. With your staff, your attack power is 8, but without it, your attack power is 8. Or, with staff is 6, attack without 8. So you can punch harder than you can use a stick. Alright, Mithril Wand? Also 8. Whatever. Doesn't improve your... I don't know if this game actually has it where certain equipment changes your, uh... Stats at all. Doesn't seem like it. Well, whatever. Well, white wizard punching doesn't make any sense, so use your use your wand. Okay, sit down there. That's neat. What about armor? Mithril armor? Of course they do. If they have all the mithril 
the, the mithril mines. So one armor for peep, one shield for peep. Um, hat for peep, glove for peep, and then two bracelets. Jur doesn't get anything. For real. he is a monk. Oh, so we're gonna get peep's defense like crazy high. It was at ten. That's gonna be real good. Uh, hat, 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 hat. Body into there. And arms, the glove. Bam, defense 15. 50% yeah, higher. Then Jufin in. Get it up to 7 defense. This will be an interesting playthrough because even though they're like wizards right now, they won't always say that. At some point, they're, they're gonna evolve and become other classes. We'll, we'll see some true growth of everybody. What spells do you have? Because we need some spells, dude. Fire, ice, and sleep. I'll, uh, take all of those, please. Uh, let's hold on to an extra fire spell, just in case. In case we, you know, hop back into a red mage territory or something. Alright, fire! Joof! Sleep! Joof! Interesting. Uh, lightning seems to be the level 2 spell now, instead of ice. Let's talk to people. Kazus is grown around the mithril mines. Mithril weapons and armor mithril weapons and armor are all produced here. Taka is the best smith in town. He lives alone in this house. The Nelba Valley was blocked by a large rock after the earthquake. <clears throat> talk to the smith here. Sid, we have to crush that boulder, but maybe if you put a mithril bow on the ship? Just a minute, I'll do it right away! And, um, done. It's finished! No need to thank me. You kids saved the whole village. Now we have to smash the boulder with the airship. Hooray! And that gives us a uh, way to move on. Let's go sleep at the inn. Oh, that's over there. Derp! Oh, wait. Hold on. Want to buy... Uh, let's get it. Oh, hold on. If you buy them in bulk, you get a discount. So let's get four antidotes. And just a couple potions. Hello. Oh, oh, child. There's a secret entrance at the end of the mine. Try the wall three steps from the left. Oh. I wonder if I should check that out. There's a secret entrance at the end of the mine. The wall three steps from the left. Ooh, I should do that. Okay, maybe we'll do that before we move on. It could also potentially be death, but whatever. Alright. Gonna res at the end. Okay, so next episode, we're gonna go... We'll check out the secrets of the mine. See if it's any good or if it'll kill us. Oh, that's where undead enemies are, and I just... Removed all my undead killing stuff. Screw it. We're going there anyway. And then after that, we'll uh, move on to the next village. With our airship. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time!